Hello, this is going to be a video on how to make your cubes um, feel like they're brand new again. Make make your old cubes faster. Um, here I have two identical um, cubes. They are the new type A from Q4U.com. Um, and I've taken apart a few of the pieces of each of the ones to show you um, how you can make your old cubes feel like your new cubes. This is one that I have not altered and this is one that I have made new again. Okay. Now what happens is the reason that cubes get old is when you have the two plastic pieces, all the plastic pieces rubbing against each other, they rub together and they create all this friction. And a lot of that, uh, what that does is it's kind of like sandpaper. It rubs together a lot and some of the pieces, um, some of the stuff of the plastic falls off. So you'll notice here on the core of this one, you can see um, some black stuff in the middle of the core here. Just let me take out a few more pieces and have a better look at it. See, there's a lot of black gunky stuff in the core. Okay, um, that is all the pieces coming apart. Um, another thing that happens is when you lubricate a cube with silicone, for example, um, when you spray the silicone in there, um, it's like water. When you drop water, it spreads out. Um, and the silicone, you spray it in there and it spreads out all over the cube. And then what it does is it hardens and it kind of um, it sticks to the plastic. Now, when you're sliding all these pieces around, um, the silicone um, also gets rubbed together and it comes off a little bit. And you can see here, um, there's a bunch of kind of whitish stuff. You can kind of see the, the circular turn marks. That's all dried silicone that's kind of peeled off um, of the pieces. Um, and here's one that's been cleaned off. See, there's not that much on there and this one has a lot on there. Okay. Um, just to show you some of the um, pieces, here's an edge. See, it has a lot of um, whitish material, um, especially right around this area. My camera's not too good, but I mean, you, sh you sh should still be able to see a lot of the white gunky stuff that's around there. Um, this is a cleaned off edge. See, there's no, there's no white gunk or anything around here. But let me just show you the two in comparison. Um, see, this one's cleaned off much better. Um, here's just from the side. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. My camera's not too great, but um, that's exactly what's happening. All this white stuff, you can see it on this um, corner piece. There's a bunch of white stuff um, all over. That's just dried off silicone, like all right here and along this this little um, edge right here um, that's all just dried silicone that's kind of just scraping off and this is a cleaned off cube see there's none of that white stuff going on nothing over here let me just show you the comparison real quick this is the cleaned one this is the dirty one um, so basically all you need to do to make your cube feel brand new again is take a napkin and just rub all over the piece and get a lot of that white stuff off. Now you'll notice that this piece has some white looking stuff here. What that is, that's, is that is silicone that is still on the piece. That's not silicone that's been dried and um, scraped off. That silicone is still good. It's helping the piece slide around. So don't worry about that kind of stuff. It's this loose whitey stuff that looks like powder, this powdery whiteness. Um, that is what you need to clean off. And again, um, for the core, for example, has a lot of black stuff in it also. That's the plastic that's been coming off. And see, so you can see all of those little markings are just white. Um, all those white stuff, that's just silicone that's been um, dried and just that rubs off. So once you clean all your pieces off, um, your cube will kind of look like this. See, the, the core doesn't have any black stuff in it. A lot of this is not... You don't see all that white ring anymore. Now you can still see some of the uh, silicone that's still on there, and that's all good. Um, but uh, like for example, that corner right there, this little white part right here that I'm pointing at, that's still good silicone. That's not 
powdery. It's still not connected to the piece, so it's still helping it slide well. That's not the stuff you need to watch out for. But once you get all that put back together, you can go ahead and reassemble your cube. And it will feel a little bit better. And, but the important thing is, is that you got all that gunk out of the way. So when you slide the pieces together, there's not as much resistance anymore. And then all you have to do from that point is give it a little bit more of lubricant. Because what you're doing is you're scraping off all the lubricant that's dried onto the piece. So there's not as much lubricant as there originally was. So you just need to add a little bit more to make it slick. Now this cube, for example, um, it was my fastest cube for the longest time. And then it just got slow all of a sudden. And I noticed that cubes that I weren't playing with a lot, they were starting to get faster than it. And I was like, why is that happening? All I had to do was clean it off a little bit, give it like a tiny, tiny little spray of silicone in the top and the bottom, and now it moves just like I got it, brand new out of the box. Um, it moves really smoothly, um, and it was a relatively simple fix. You can um, just get some cloth or a napkin and just rub all that stuff off with your finger. Um, Thrust has a video on how to wash a cube by putting it in the dishwasher. I don't know if I would recommend that. I wouldn't do that myself, but I mean, he says it works. So if you want to try that, go ahead. Um, I just use a dry napkin. You can try a wet napkin, but again, I'm just, I don't feel comfortable putting any wet things near my cube, especially the core since it has screws and those screws can rust if you put them near water. Just def which is bad. That'll ruin your cube completely. Um, but if you want to use a damp cloth or a wet napkin or something, go ahead. I just used a dry napkin. Um, so basically, that's all you have to do is just look for that white, that white powdery gunk that's all over the the pieces and the edge pieces, and even on the the center caps too, like. All the center caps could have stuff like these pieces right here. All this stuff um, can be cleaned off as well, not just the edges and the corners. Um, but just wipe that stuff down and spray a little bit more silicone, not too much, because if your cube is good, you shouldn't need that much extra. But that's basically all you have to do, and your cube will feel brand new, and you will have a fast cube once again. Hope this video helped. Please comment if you have a question and rate and subscribe.